Titanic, the unsinkable ship was a luxury boat whose passengers included some of the world's wealthiest people when it hit an iceberg. The tragedy has since become a historic disaster and became more popularized in a 1997 movie starring Leonardo DiCaprio. But many people don't know the story of Violet Jessup. Violet Jessup's life is an inspiring story of survival. Jessup survived three of the most disastrous shipwrecks of the 20th century. The Olympic and Hawk collision in 1911, the sinking of the Titanic in 1912, and the sinking of the Britannic in 1916. Jessup was on all three ships at the time of each disaster. Violet Constance Jessup was born on October 2, 1887. She was the first child of Irish emigrants William and Catherine Jessup. Her father was a sheep farmer and she had five younger brothers and sisters. As a child Violet contracted tuberculosis, doctors gave her only months to live but she managed to overcome the disease. When her father died in Mendoza, the family returned to Britain, her mother found a job as a stewardess for the Royal Mail Line while Violet attended a convent school. When her mother's health deteriorated Violet gave up school to become a stewardess herself, first with the Royal Mail Line, then later with White Star. Violet didn't want to work for White Star because she didn't like the idea of sailing the North Atlantic run due to the weather conditions, and she had heard stories about the demanding passengers on that run. Nevertheless, Violet who had grey blue eyes, auburn hair, and spoke with an Irish accent became a stewardess for the White Star Line working 17 hours a day, and being paid two pounds and ten pence per month. In 1911, Jessup began working as a stewardess for the White Star vessel RMS Olympic. Olympic was a luxury ship that was the largest civilian liner at that time. Jessup was on board on September 20, 1911, when Olympic left Southampton and collided with the British warship, HMS Hawk. There were no fatalities and despite the damage, the ship was able to make it back to port without sinking. Jessup chose not to discuss this collision in her memoirs. On April 10, 1912, Jessup boarded RMS Titanic as a stewardess, at age 24. Four days later, it struck an iceberg in the North Atlantic, where Titanic sank about two hours and forty minutes after the collision. Jessup described in her memoirs how she was ordered up on deck because she was to function as an example of how to behave for the non-English speakers who could not follow the instructions given to them. She watched as the crew loaded the lifeboats. She was later ordered into lifeboat 16, and as the boat was being lowered, one of Titanic's officers gave her a baby to look after. Two hours after the accident, the ship sank, and 1,503 passengers lost their lives. The next morning, Jessup and the rest of the survivors were rescued by the RMS Carpathia. According to Jessup, while on board Carpathia, a woman, presumably the baby's mother, grabbed the baby she was holding and ran off with it without saying a word crying. When World War I began, the third of the Olympic-class luxurious ocean liners were employed by the British naval authorities as a hospital ship. On November 13, 1915, the Britannic was renamed HMHS, His Majesty's Hospital Ship, and was put under the command of Captain Charles Bartlett. The ship transported wounded soldiers from the Mediterranean back to Great Britain, and Violet Jessup was working as a nurse at the mobile hospital. The ship completed five successful voyages on this route, before suffering a tragic destiny similar to that of her sister, the Titanic. On November 21, 1916, the Britannic was in the Aegean Sea when she hit a mine planted by a German submarine. 57 minutes after that, the grandiose ship was already at the bottom of the sea. There were 1,605 passengers on board, and 30 lost their lives. Having learned the lesson from the Titanic tragedy, 
the Harland and Wolfe Company installed more lifeboats on the Britannic, hence the significantly smaller number of casualties. Violet Jessup found her way into one of those lifeboats and was nearly killed when a piece of the ship's propeller hit her in the head. She suffered a head injury but still managed to survive her third maritime disaster. When the war was over, Violet continued her employment at White Star Line. Before retiring in 1950, she worked for two more cruise companies, the Red Star Line, and again with the Royal Mail Line. She traveled around the world twice and had a short marriage. When she retired from her job as a stewardess, she settled down in Suffolk. A few years later, Jessup received a strange phone call from an unknown woman who asked if Violet was the savior of a baby during the Titanic tragedy. Violet confirmed, and the woman then said that she was the baby Violet saved and hung up the phone. Violet told her friend and biographer John Max Stoney Graham that she never told the story about the baby to anyone, denying his claims that it was a prank call from the local children. Violet earned the nickname Miss Unsinkable and died in 1971, at the age of 84, due to heart failure. <laughs>